But I think in the uh, last 20 minutes, I think we showed, you know, we well, haven't given, uh, well, haven't given up the fight. I think we've showed that in sort of recent games. We've just been a nip, we've been toothless. But I think, you know, the fight's been there. And I think if we can get a two or three signs in in January, I think as long as we don't fall too far adrift of the uh, teams above, because it's been a poor day in terms of their uh, results elsewhere. Hopefully, if Stoke and Nick something we stay at the bottom three. But just next week's game's huge. The game against Brighton's massive. Losing the day is not really... Zero yeah. expectations for the day coming somewhere later, isn't it? That's so, it. And then in the end, we, should have, we could have got to him. Should have got to him, really? I think by the end, yeah. I mean, they were sort of hanging on. I think um, took that 1-0 and they were graceful for it. But I think, you know, some big games coming up. I think the Brighton game, home game, Stoke away, West Ham away. We'll sort of define whether we were not going to drift before we could sign people. Now you can see the results couldn't have went any worse for the day. Like, imagine the travel like we were seeing on like a West Ham. West Ham win, Huddersfield win away at Waterford, smashing them. Yeah. And then early on, Palace smashing Leicester, who were in form of yours. Mad. And we'll not even mention the team that wins on the 16th of December at home <laughs> every year as well. So, leave that bastard side of No, it's pretty, pretty disastrous, but a little bit of hope for the last 20 minutes, hopefully. I think we'd be proud of the lads today, like what we see with different to manage that win. I tried, yeah. they did, tried, they did. Yeah, they've got to pull it off and really so, I think. But, you know, just like a bit of quality, but the effort was there. Chat trips, how doing it? It is, but you know what can you do? Dubious decisions by Rafa again. Diarmi coming on. What's he? What how's he gonna back up again? I think just because he's tall, he's probably the tallest on the bench, and he just wanted someone to win a couple of headers. What about Gale being dropped? He was the only positive in the last month or so. He was. I think it's, it's tough when you got to a place like this. You just want someone that's going to sort of hold it up, and you know, games like this, he hasn't really had much of a kick. You know, they scored against Man United and. Um, but and Chelsea, but apart from that, obviously, <laughs> um, I think it's it's tough sort of holding it up when you're getting sort of aimless balls put But I think the last 20 minutes we stayed in the game at 1 0 and did okay. Once Gale came on, you could see the difference like the, the two up top weren't like possibly was more useful, wasn't he? It was definitely. I think the mentality change, I think it was like I was scared to go two or three down and you know get humiliated. Once we sort of got a little bit of momentum, I thought, look, we can score against these and get some. Let's see, next week, fingers crossed.